Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have to find the average value of a function and the function is just y. And over this region, and the region is given to be a rectangle with these four vertices. Okay, so before we start, let me remind you how to calculate average value. So average value of a function is 1 over a double integral over r, the same region r, the function times dA, where this a is the area of the region r. So as you can see that we have to understand the region r first and then we can set up our integral and evaluate it. Now r is nothing but a rectangle with these four vertices. So let's try to graph that. So the vertices are 0, 0, so it's the origin, then 5, 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, and then 5, 3, so this is 3, 5, 3, and then 0, 3. Okay, so if you join these four points, you get a rectangle. All right. So this is our region, R. Okay. Now, we have to compute A, which is the area. So let's compute that right away. And this is just a rectangle. So the area is length times width. As you see, length is 5 and width is 3. So area is just 15. Also, since in the double integral we have to use this region, we need to find the bounds for x and y. So let's do that next. Okay, so to compute the bounds, remember we have to draw a rectangle inside the region. So let's draw a rectangle and I'm drawing a vertical rectangle. So the width of the rectangle is delta x, so x will be my outer variable. And let's see, the x bounds are, see x is from, this way is x, so it starts at 0, the region, and then goes up to 5. So x is between 0 and 5. Now what about y? y, look at the length of the rectangle itself, see it starts at x axis, so 0, and goes up to 3. So these are the bounds of x and y. Now let's set up the integral that will give us the average value. So average value is 1 over a, but a is 15, and then double integral, but the outer integral will have the x limits, so this one is from 0 to 5, and the inner one is the y limits from 0 to 3, and then we have to write the function, function is y, and dA, which way should we write? Well, y comes first, so dy and then dx. Okay. So now that we have our integral all set up, let's solve it. It's a double integral. Remember, we ignored the outer one. Just evaluate the inner one first. So from 0 to 5. Now, the inside one is in terms of y. The function is y, so the antiderivative is y square over 2, evaluate from 0 to 3, and then we have dx. Okay. So plug in 3 for y, and you get 3 square over 2. Then when you plug in 0 for y, you just get 0, so you can just ignore that. So just the constant times dx. Now since it's a constant, Pull it outside, so you get 115 times 3 squared is 9 over 2, and then integral 0 to 5 dx. If you want, at this point, you can simplify this constant a little bit. Look, there's a 9 and a 15, and there's a common factor of 3 that you can cancel. So you will have 3 over 
10. And now the integral of dx, what is the antiderivative? Just x, and then you have to plug in 0 and 5. Okay, so 3 tenth times, okay, when you plug in 5 first, you just have 5. When you plug in 0, you just have 0, nothing, you can ignore that. And then 5 and 10 cancels. So the answer is 3 half. So 3 half is the average value of this function over this region. Thank you.